Journey with Janie. Hi, I'm Janie, and this is Journey with Janie Hypnotherapy on YouTube. If this is your first time joining me, I welcome you, and I truly hope that you will subscribe. And if you've been here with me for a while, well, I'm sending you the biggest bear hug, and I want to thank you so much for being here with me all this time. Some of you for many years now, and it means everything to me that we've been on this journey together. So the journey continues, and I hope that more and more people will join us because this is a space of safety, of authenticity, a space where you can come and be yourself just as you are. Whatever's going on in your life, in your world, whatever is going on in your mind and in your heart, just know that it can't be foreign to me or really to any human being on earth because we're much more similar than we think. You're not alone. And I'm here to help you to remember that. I hope that you'll visit my website so that we can connect one-on-one. -on -one. That would be a wonderful thing to be able to support you in such a special way. My website is journeywithjanie.com and Janie is spelled J-A-Y-N-I. No E. I want to take a moment just now for a little gratitude, if that would be okay with you. Now, some of you will want to jump right to the hypnotic journey, and I can understand that too. So just below here, I've just put a little timestamp, okay, so that you'll know where you can skip to if you want to go ahead and just jump right into the hypnotic journey. Now, what do I mean by a hypnotic journey? Well, as a psycho-spiritual therapist and a clinical hypnotherapist, I use the modality of helping you to drop into the deeply powerful hypnotic state in order to release thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that do not serve you and to help you manifest a healthier version of yourself to rise and ascend into that vibration which is waiting for you. No matter what choices you've made in your life, no matter where you are now, it doesn't matter because where you are going is still your choice and you can choose the highest you can. It's never too late. I promise you that. Gratitude first though. That's what we're going to start with. A little show and tell if you don't mind. So again, skip ahead if you'd like to, but for those that want to stick around, I just want to say a few thank yous. In this holiday season, which many of us are celebrating around the world right now, it is the season of giving, is it not? Really, the whole year should be the season of giving, but this time of the year, I think we tend to really bring that to the surface of our intentions. So for giving, I want to first thank Todd for his beautiful and very, very sweet holiday card. I'm a dog mama, so dogs are always going to get me every time. I want to thank Lynn for the sweetest, sweetest card. So much in here that just warmed my heart. And with the card, if I could show you guys real quickly here, wonderful little treats. Lynn's been on such a fantastic journey of health and well-being and healing. And I've been so honored to be with Lynn on that journey. So some of the things that she sent to me, it looks like things that she's discovered on her healing and health journey. So we have these little energy bars, if you can see that, double chocolate and berry crisp. I already had one. Delicious. I also have from Lynn this pack of mini notebooks, which I love. I always carry notebooks in my purse, so this is fantastic. And you can see it says, today is the day. Tomorrow works too. And you know why I love that? I love it because it gives you an intention. But it also takes the pressure off. That we have to force ourselves into every goal that we've set for the day. And to, you know make us feel as if we have to achieve all of those goals in order to be enough. So I really like this a lot. 
because it sets a nice intention, but it also gives you the opportunity to stretch if you need to stretch, to take some time for yourself. Self-care days are okay too, very okay. So thank you so much for that. And Lynn, look at all this. I'm gonna have so many great notebooks to carry with me and they'll be so helpful. Also in this, bamboo socks. Bamboo is such a new thing that I'm really enjoying. I, my sheets are bamboo now, um, and this is my first pair of bamboo socks. And the socks say, life is a journey. And there's a little dragonfly there. And the other side says, embrace it. And of course, the journey part obviously made me smile. But you know what else made me smile? The dragonfly. When my grandmother passed, who has always been my most favorite person in all the world, a dragonfly came to visit me and sat on a summer hat that I was wearing for over two hours. I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? And I have always associated dragonflies with my grandmother ever since then. So this this is very, very special to me, Lynn, and I want to thank you for this. It really meant the world to see that when I opened this gift box. Now, these are a lot of fun, everybody. They're not just pencils. These are attitude pencils, um, and they say really cool things. Uh, classy, sassy, and a bit smart-assy. I love it. I absolutely love that. Stay weird. F it. Hey, right? We all get in that mood, don't we? Um, let me see what else. These are twisted around. This one says, well, let me open this, you guys, so I can see them a little bit better. Stay weird, right? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah is one of them. Uh, carpe the hell out of this DM. Super, 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 super cute. Super funny. Made me smile. Attitude pencils that I can enjoy as I'm doing my office work, and I just really appreciate that and love it. And then when I open this care package, the most amazing scent came from this beautiful tree soap, handmade. Lynn got it at a nearby farmer's market. I love a farmer's market. We should all be supporting uh, entrepreneurs and um, those in, who are operating small businesses. So this is a family tree soaps, handcrafted artisan soaps from uh, Tallahassee. So Lynn, mm, I, it smells so good, so divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the craft, the care, the heart that went into this care package. And above all things, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. The other big thank you is to my dear soul friend from Wales, Claire. And I'm telling you, I have received such fun things in this care package. Things such as Terry's chocolate orange for Janie Terry. I mean, how fun. I just don't even want to open it and eat it because I just want to keep it forever. It's just so wonderful. I've never had one. Let me know in the comments if you've had a Terry's chocolate orange. See, this is new to me. Never had Jaffa cakes. So that'll be fun. Very fun. I'm looking forward to that. I am absolutely falling over myself for this famous butter fudge tin. The tin is, is just exquisite. I mean, once I'm done eating all the fudge, which I will, the tin is just going to be something that I will keep forever because, I mean... Isn't it adorable? And this most beautiful, soft baby blue. So here's the fudge. 
that won't be in there for long. But I just love this tin. Love it. Love the tin. And that wasn't the only tin. This fantastic tin for English breakfast teas. And it's it's got the teas inside. But I'm going to love keeping this on my kitchen counter. It just means so much to have such thought from such dear, dear souls around the world. Claire included a couple of Christmas ornaments. This is Welsh Christmas decorations. And look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Claire, stunning. And then, if that wasn't enough, more ornaments, which I love. In fact, I did a video showing you some of my ornaments a couple years ago, I think. So I have this one. Precious. And this gorgeous, gorgeous clock tower. It, I mean, my heart is just singing to to know such beautiful souls and not because of the giving it's because of the time i've been able to spend with you so many of you to be able to get to know such precious souls around the world and people that i truly admire i admire for their strengths i admire for the things that they've been able to overcome i admire that they are the ones that are leaning in and saying yes I know I cannot do this all alone. I know that I deserve support and I'm ready to ask for it. I admire that. And I know that that is not always an easy step for many who have had traumatic pasts or who have had an experience where they've not been really shown that they're supposed to ask for help or that it's something they're worthy of. So reframing those messages that we give ourselves, the way that we speak to ourselves, um, and the permission we give ourselves is a huge step. So thank you, thank you to Claire, as well as the chocolates that you sent. Thank you, thank you to Lynn, to Todd, to everyone who has sent cards and emails. But above all, it's not at all about what I'm getting. It's about what we are giving. I have just gone out and purchased these small little um, stockings and I'm going to be filling them. This is something that I've been doing traditionally for the last few years. And on Christmas Eve, I will drive around and hand them to um, our community that are living on the street. And I want to just say that there's so many different ways at this time of year or all around the year, right? From January to December, to be able to think about ways that we can extend our hand and our hearts. So, I'd love for you to comment below on how you are extending your hand, your heart, in the way that you can. Everybody has different ways that they can do this. So some of us can be more mobile and active in that kind of way. Others may be able to do things from a stationary place at home. Some may just be in a position where they can just send good thoughts out for someone and hold them in their hearts and in their favor. That is also very, very helpful. And those kinds of energies go a long, long way. Webs of compassion is what we need in the world. In fact, all of this reminds me of a fantastically beautiful fable that one of my clients, my soul friends in England, Simon, he wrote. And he's a phenomenal writer. And he sent this to me not very long ago. And I, I asked him for his permission to share it with you all. So a tiny little fable to go with what I just showed you here and what we're talking about regarding giving. This is how it goes. A master was walking toward the market one day, and as she passed a traveler bearing food for his family, she noticed his feet were bare and scratched. Take my shoes to comfort your steps, said the master. Next, she passed another traveler, struggling to balance the assortment of textiles she was carrying, 
often causing her to spill a roll onto the floor. Take my bag to manage your burdens, said the master. Further along, she spied a child pulling a small cart, but could not use both hands as the sun was directly in their eyes and they were using a hand for shade. Take my hat to ensure your vision is unimpeded, said the master. Upon reaching the market, the owner looked at the master and puzzled how she would be able to travel back with goods when she had no shoes to comfort her step, no bag to manage her burdens, and no hat to keep her vision clear. I have gained more on this journey by helping others then your market has no longer anything for me. The master replied with this before setting off again. I hope that this fills your heart in the way that it filled mine when Simon first sent it to me. It really is the message I would want to leave you all with in one that we should all remember. The greatest gift is in giving. Thank you, Simon. So thank you to all my soul friends, and I am here to support you. Now I'd like to guide you on a deep, healing, hypnotic journey, just for you. As I'm speaking every word, know that I'm speaking directly to you. I am. I'm holding the intention that you are receiving this message at exactly the right time, exactly as the universe has called it in for you. That whatever your belief systems are, let it begin by believing in yourself, knowing that you are worthy to be supported, to be healed to be cared for and to have compassion that has been not only received by you, but compassion that you can give for there is no better feeling. And so if this is your first time taking this journey with me, I'm going to ask you now to make sure that your head, neck and shoulders are well supported and well aligned. Good. Now some of you may wish to look directly into my eyes, directly into my eyes and relax, directly into my eyes and let go, let go. Others may feel the eyelids becoming so heavy now that they'll close quite quickly, close very heavily, close and remain closed because it feels so good to relax in this way. Others may continue to look right into my eyes for everyone's journey is unique. What you are feeling now is both a heaviness and a lightness, a heaviness of calm and comfort, of anchoring into the hypnotic state, a lightness of your spirit, lightness as you let go. And in between is that perfect space of calm, of trust, that you're right where you're meant to be at this exact moment. Now something wonderful will begin to happen and I'd like you to allow that very wonderful thing. You may not be able to put words to it, but you do in fact feel an awareness shifting, the sensation of calm intensifying and a sublime relaxation rolling through you all around you. Draw the attention to the breath. If your eyes are closed, the eyelids are heavier and heavier. If you are looking into my eyes, the gaze becomes harder and harder to hold, the eyelids heavier and heavier with every breath that you take, with every word that I speak. Let go more and more. Very good. Now 
notice the breath rise with the inhale and the breath falls with the exhale. A rhythm of relaxation moves through you and all around you. It flows from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Relax deeper and deeper. Feel comfort rolling, rolling through the veins, through every muscle, through the tissue, the bone structure. Such a wonderful feeling this brings you. Follow my voice and let go. Let go, sink into good feelings as you drift, draw, and let go. Good. Now you focus on the feet, for the feet will begin to feel so heavy, so relaxed, a calm that settles deep into the toes the arches of your feet, your heels, relaxation that intensifies, doubling with every word that I speak, relaxation that flows from the top of your feet, from your heels, right and left left and right, up into the legs, slowly around the waist, into the spine, flowing into the back, the muscles of your back, relax deeper and let go, shoulders, Release the burdens now. Release the burdens upon the shoulders. Let them go. As you draw deeper now. Very good. Right to left. And left to right. Everything is in balance. Feels wonderful to let go in this way. flowing through you, evenly distributed as it rolls down the arms, equally distributed as it flows down the arms from shoulders to biceps, biceps to elbows, elbows forearms and into the wrists now, down into the palms of your hands now, like a river of relaxation let it flow, your eyes now so heavy, if they have not closed already you close them now, relax deeper as the fingertips Receive the sublime river of relaxation. From the fingers to the toes, toes to the fingers, rise to the shoulders and flow over the neck, over the face, soften the muscles now of the face, soften the muscles now of the face. Letting go more and more. It's time to let go. Breathe in and breathe out. Sink in all the way. Drift and drop and let go. Softening the whole body. Quieting the whole mind. And in the stillness of this moment, follow my count from twenty to zero, twenty to zero, 
as you let go more and more. Letting go feels so good. Letting go means you are ready to shift into a higher vibration of health and well-being, of healing, the healing you deserve. Just breathe now. Follow my count now. Every number doubles the relaxation. Every number doubles the relaxation. Twenty, double, twenty, ninety, relax, eight, double, relaxation. Seventy. You're by the river now. It is not just a river that runs within you, but it is a river you are aware is just in front of you. You'll use any of your senses to acknowledge the river in front of you. Some will see it clearly, others will hear it. Some will just feel it, knowing it is there. And it feels so good to be standing on the bank of this river at 16. There is so much peace here. The trickling sound of the water. The scent of the fresh water that is rolling over the stones and rocks of the river. The sounds of other critters and birds that live around and within the river. It's all right there in front of you. Seventy. It calms you. Sixty. Relaxes you. Clears your mind. There is a low hanging tree over the river. And you'll visualize or imagine or know somewhere deep inside that there are leaves falling, falling right onto the surface of this river. The leaves represent all that you are ready to let go of. This is the season of letting go. Sixty is fifty. And all of the leaves that fall along the surface of the river will begin to float. Float down and out of sight, down the river stream and out of sight. It brings you a great feeling of relief just to know that there is release happening in the stillness. There is release happening while you are in a place of peace and calm, that letting go and healing can feel wonderful, refreshing, peaceful, serene. You can lean into it. Sixteen is fifty. You can trust it. At forty, ask for it. Will it with the highest intention of your greatest good. Say you are ready to let go, and I'll show you the way. Say you are ready to release what does not serve you, and I'm here to show you how. Let the leaves fall that are ready to fall. Let the serenity of the healing river, with all of its powerful current, take all that does not serve you and wash it away. Gently, and with ease, as you stand so still, trusting, ready, and willing. Fifteen is forty. Now I want you to imagine that you begin to hear the crunching of leaves just behind you. There are many trees lined along the side of this river. A small, little forest that leads to a meadow, and everything is very peaceful. 
and there is just the sound that there is someone right there coming a little closer to you as you turn to face the noise at 15 is 14 you'll see a very small child you'll know the age of the child when you see them because they all come at different ages each one's journey is different but for you you are very clear on the age, the face, the details, and you recognize this child as your own inner child, the child you once were not so very long ago. 14 is 13. Invite the child closer. All communication is telepathic, sent from heart space to heart space. So in your heart just now, let the inner child know that they are welcomed to stand there at the riverbank, right at your side. That this is a safe space just for the two of you. That as they approach, you'll notice they are carrying something in their hand that is meaningful to them. Something that brings them comfort perhaps even joy. Allow them to come closer, and as they take a few more steps, you'll take a couple of steps in their direction to meet them in the middle. This journey is for both of you to step into one another. Good. Now just a few more steps. And your inner child is right there. Thirteen is twelve, standing right in front of you. Now at eleven is the angel number. The angel number is the reminder that you are not alone. And it is the same message we are sending now to your inner child. Send the message that they are not alone. They've never been alone. You are right there with them. And you each have support systems now. If not only just here, there are more, or there could certainly be more. You allow yourself at ten to face the child and extend your hands out. Your inner child understands that as you extend the hands, they are meant to place their hands in yours. Allow them to do so at their own pace. You offer the invitation, the invitation to connect. And when you feel their tiny hands in yours, allow there to be an expression of compassion and love, perhaps more than they ever felt before, but everything they've always deserved and been worthy of. With their permission, spoken from heart space to heart space, I want you now to take your hands and lift the child up and into your chest. As you hold the child to you, hug them tight, for at nine you are one. At eight, there is balance, the balance of their life experiences and yours, the balance of the past and the present, and together creating a healthier future, for you are one. At seven, as you hold your inner child, tell them, you are not alone. Seven and six, tell them they are worthy, worthy of love, worthy to be held safely, to be protected, to be valued, seen, and heard. Six 
is five. Hold that hug just a few seconds more. Feel their arms around your neck. And they're squeezing a little tighter now. And that's an indication that they trust what you are saying. That they are ready to be loved and cared for in this way. To feel better. They want to feel better. And when they feel better, you feel exponentially better. At five, you slowly begin to place them back on the ground. They will stand beside you at four. And hand in hand at three, look out over the river. Imagine or visualize the leaves that continue to fall and know that these leaves fall with your intention to heal, to let go of the past, let go of the pain, that it will always be validated but you will no longer live in it. Look down at your inner child and send one more message. The message that they no longer have to live in those memories that have hurt them. They no longer have to live in the pain. That they can be free. As free as they feel here standing beside you at the river. A river that not only runs right in front of you, but within you. A river of peace and relaxation. A river of release, of letting go, of freedom and liberation. Three, two, of healing, one. And so it is, so it shall be, and zero. Love and light. As I count you back into your consciousness, one is two. You feel so very relaxed and at peace at three. Send one more final loving message to the inner child that, that you're right there with them. Always. Three is four. You send them off to play, frolic, along the river, through the woods and into the meadow and know that that is your safe space you'll come back to with them time and again. Four now is five. As you open your eyes, take a deep breath for me. You're coming back into your conscious awareness, back into your physical body, feeling so very relaxed and renewed. Very good. Welcome back. That's just a little taste of what you and I can do together, one-on-one. -on -one. It would be an honor, truly an honor, to be able to support you in a more one-on-one -on -one way. We could do this on Zoom, just like this, but way more personalized, really deep diving into your personal journey, into your inner child, and the healing you both deserve. I'm wishing you all the happiest of this holiday season, blessings in abundance, and I hope you feel a great return of all the ways that you've been so compassionate and kind through the years. Receiving, then, all of that as it all flows so symbiotically, all of the good energy. You are the light. Remember that. And I look forward to hopefully connecting with you very soon. Journeywithjanie.com. J-A-Y-N-I. Now E. Take wonderful care, my soul friends. And until next time, continue to journey within. Journey with Jenny.